Welcome to the last level of Perseus and Medusa. Uh, now in this level, they want you to make a decent city basically. So um, you've got to make four sanctuaries. Um, I'm not going to choose the easiest one to make because um, it's not as good. So I'm going I'm to choose Hades. Um, his advantages are that he can bless tax offices. Um, bless um, mint mint uh, mints where they uh, mint coins uh, denarii not denarii drachma sorry um, also uh, he can call upon Cerberus to help your city which is always good if you get invaded so yeah like I've said before this isn't exactly a military um, a military adventure so that probably would never really be needed and considering this is, is the last level um, it won't be needed I doubt and another thing to note is that we need some elite housing um, considering we're still so late in this adventure it's quite surprising that we need it now um, however it should be quite easy to make considering uh, how advanced the city is So I'm just getting all the supplies I need closer to the Agora. Accepting olive oil and fleece there. I will also need to start production of armour, but also um, wine. Because these are necessary... Um, requirements to get the full elite housing which is the estate I, I um, tend to like doing five elite houses on each side because that gives you a population total of two um, 200 sorry 200 people which gives you a large army and also fulfills, I think, basically any requirement you'll ever get asked in the game. So, um, I, I, I prefer, I prefer five on each side. Uh, probably the biggest advantage of, of building them the way I do is that you can build more per, well, you can, you can build more elite houses, let's say. Well, I think you can anyway. Maybe, maybe not be true. I'm not sure about um, the contestants um, from the stadium whether they can actually go over roadblocks or not. I think I've seen them do it before, but I'm not totally sure. I stopped selling um, fleece because I was running a bit low on it. And I don't, well, I do need the money, but not really that badly. Oh yeah, another advantage of elite housing is the tax you gain from it. This is significantly higher than the ones you'll get from, say, the the common housing. So um, they they do pay their way. I only need to support six horsemen in this adventure. But, um, I prefer doing it as much as possible. I think the thing that will take me the longest in this level is probably, um, probably building Hades' temple, actually. If I had chosen, um, another temple, it probably would have been easier. Okay, now Medusa is coming to attack. But I can send for um, Perseus straight away, so that's not a problem. Although she'll probably get a chance to send some people to stone. So there she's hobbling away there. Perseus arrived. However, I think she'll you know she'll turn some sheep, a uh, goat, sorry, and some uh, farmers to stone before she's murdered by Perseus. 
So, Poseidon, have that. Sees use parading around. I, I should have probably consulted the Oracle to see that uh, Medusa was coming. However, um, I didn't do this. It would have been a good thing because I could have automatically sent for Perseus without having to wait for her to arrive first of all. So, um, they, they do expect you to um, have basically all the requirements straight away for Perseus because you sent for him so many times. Um, that's why Medusa suddenly appears. Okay, we're about we're just over halfway through the last level of Perseus and Medusa. I'm just um, trying to get all beat to go to the horse ranches. If it does this, I can gain horses, which will enable me um, horsemen. I'm just trying to increase the appeal here just so because I haven't got any commemorative monuments it makes it a lot harder I see I've done uh, three objectives I don't know, I'm halfway through the objectives I need to support 16 horsemen which should be done very soon I need to build the rest of this sanctuary and I can't remember the other thing I need to do, I'll check back in a sec. Well, I missed it there. <laughs> oh well. But I'm sure we'll fulfill it. I've, I've got quite a lot of olive oil, so um, I might start to sell it, but... Um, because I need, yeah, I need to uh, produce 32 olive oil jugs in a year, so I need more storage for it. Now, the best way to get rid of your excess storage is to sell it. So we're over 40% way of Gates of Hades. I think this, I think this is the last thing to happen, so you don't necessarily get the advantage that um, he would normally bring because the adventure will be over so there's no really point in really carrying on with it is there so I'm just um, waiting for a commemorative monument just so I can increase the neighborhood appeal really I need more wheat. Um, oh, okay, I've got a commemorative monument now. Um, I need another. So hopefully, when I get 5,000 people, maybe I'll get one. Maybe I've already got that, I'm not sure. Or maybe they should just pretend they're happy so I can get another monument. Okay, I need 51 workers. Um, Clearly, this will go up once the gates of Hades is made. We've got about um, 1 minute and 13 seconds left of this level. So we're almost done. Almost done. The next adventure, which is Athens Through the Ages, is a lot better than this one. It's very military based as we have to beat threats from Turkey and from within Greece itself so hopefully we'll enjoy that one a bit more although you may like this adventure I don't particularly rate it really but that's really so we're quite um, far through with the gates of Hades um, almost done it which will mean the completion of the level. We have completed the olive oil objective already. Gates of Haze complete. 
Um, I'm just going to quickly build some mints just to prove a point really. Okay, we've done Percy Medusa. Now we are on to Athens through the ages. So see you then.